to use this for two shelves in the little nook part of the bathroom at the end of the bath. Beautiful. It makes me want to cry. Or is that the splinters? But it is gorgeous. That's for two shelves in the bathroom. Now I just got to cut them to the right length. I'm in trouble again. Last week we had a tradesman booked and her indoors gave me $350 to pay him. But he didn't turn up till today, a week later. And I had no recollection whatsoever about the $350. Anyway, it was found in a pocket on the clothesline so now I'm a money money launderer I'm gonna have to think about this now you see because the niche where I'm putting these shelves in is not perfectly square so at the back of the shelf it'll be 895 millimeters and at the front of the shelf, it'll be 902 millimeters. Now I probably need to figure out is one wall skewed by seven mils or the other wall skewed by seven mils or is it a shared skew? Mm, six just fits, maybe. We'll try five. Five, five hits. So five mil, not seven. I just 
I just tinked. Tinked of a thing. That's not a word. A tinked of a thing. Oh. Hmm? oh, it's so beautiful. You know. That's such a waste to put that in the shower. It's not a waste. It is, it's beautiful. If I didn't put it there, it'd be sitting under my shelf over there for another 20 years. Little coffee table. Thinking of what it might do Little with its life. Little coffee table. Now, if I put them in there, push that over to the heel, but I still need to keep this square on the wood. Yeah, that's just theoretically. And then push that up to the line. And that gives me a skew, which technically should be five mil. so close I don't want to think it was a plan just a little bit of shaving on this edge that is very close to perfect in fact so perfect it's almost Almost it is difficult to get out. <clears throat> I could leave that sitting there now. But I ain't gonna Ooh, I'm I wonder if I got the depth right. I need to check that too. I thought I measured that pretty good. Oh, I can't get it out. Absolutely perfect. I am very happy. Okay, that's one.
into the lane that way and I puffed it into the lane out from the wall and I'm not going to fix that I'm going to leave that for the sake of shedding water and marked through the holes with spray paint yep I got it That is sharp. Excuse my French, but that was sharp. So my theory is, if I've measured this right and got this hole in the right place, I put a spring down the bottom of the hole, I put this pin in the hole, and when I'm putting the shelf in, that pin will get compressed against the wall until it meets the hole on the wall where it will pop out and become a permanent solid dowel on this end of the shelf. That's the theory. Let's see if it works. This one's getting awfully tight though, which is a little to worry. I'm listening intently for wood cracking sounds, which I really do not want to hear. Still got 20 mil or more to go. Hmm. Oh well, keep pushing. That's tight. That is tight in the wood, but it's not tight on the wall. And I think I'm going to leave it. I'll try one more tweak. No, I think I'll leave well enough alone. So I've got three coach bolts plus my magical spring-loaded pin so let's go see let's go see if it works that ain't going nowhere I could do chin-ups on that and just like that it's done in fact, I think I got this one even tighter to the wall. Minor, minor gap there and then tight all the way around. And my spring loaded pin worked even better over there than it did on the top one. I am super happy with that. <coughs> 